A 12-year-old boy was just looking out for his little brother and sisters, and he's got the battle scars to prove it. He was attacked by a dog, though it actually could have been all of them. This happened on Taylor Street just off Joy Road on the city's west side. And as Jason Colthorpe reports, this young man's family couldn't be prouder. It's not terribly unusual to see a dangerous stray dog going through this neighborhood. And Monday night around 7 o'clock, that's exactly what happened. When the four kids were all out here playing, right here, two dogs showed up and one of them was about to attack. We live in a tough zip code, right? Um, bad things happen every day. But Peter Ashmore didn't expect one of those bad things to happen to his son right outside their door. Yes, it did that. It yeah. came that way. Yeah. His 12 year old son, Deacon, had almost no time to react. That one ran around in circles a bit until it decided like to get me. The dog he describes as short but wide lunged and bit his left calf. Yeah, it was getting like dragged around a bit. It hurt. His little sisters and brother ran into the house to safety. And then they kind of backed up a bit and like, so then I ran inside and, and I inspected my legs. So yes, it wasn't that good. So I went and grabbed some duct tape and I looked at him and I said, buddy, I love you and this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Peter had just raced home from work and then took Deacon to Children's Hospital where he had surgery Tuesday morning. He's now back home recovering, even getting some well wishes from his sixth grade classmates. And yes, his brother and sisters are pretty grateful too. I'm pretty glad because if it was them, they would have been uh, very more injured than me. Deacon's such a thoughtful kid and um, really just continuously like puts him puts other people in front of himself and um, and that's just that's one of the things about his character that that I just love about him and that I respect and that I think a lot of people could maybe learn some lessons from <laughs> trust me we can learn some lessons from young Deacon great to talk to by the way the Ashmore's church has also helped out in ways much bigger than just prayers which they got plenty of as well but they started a fundraiser for them to help with the medical bills the church did and so far it's raised almost twenty thousand dollars in just a few days and if you'd like to help out we have that information with this story at clickondetroit.com reporting live tonight jason colthorpe local four okay jason thanks